Today I wanted to talk a little bit about video editing and how I do my video editing while living in a 4Runner and how I do it while we're traveling. One of those um, places that I utilize for my video editing is of course local libraries and they're just perfect for if you want to find a place with good Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi, good quiet place to do all your work and editing at. Um, they're really useful locations to use, especially because you have a bathroom if you want to, you know, you need to use the bathroom. You have a lot of resources there to use to help you with your editing. You can see behind me while we were at the library, Megan, um, here at the local library in Longmont, Colorado, you can rent out telescopes. So she rented a big telescope for a week because she wants to try to see if we can see the big old green comet that you can currently see right now that you can't see in another like I think like 55,000 years or what is it? I'm not sure honestly. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> a lot how of many, years. I don't know how many years a but, years. but a lot of years. <laughs> Just looking up about the comet. So you show right here they thought it was going to pass by earth in another 50,000 years. Now they're saying it could be a few million years before another flyby. So this is definitely worth trying to get out to see in person. We might do that later tonight. Another um, great place to do your video editing would be like Chick-fil-A. Uh, like today we're at Chick-fil-A and I'm doing some editing. They have really uh, fast Wi-Fi at Chick-fil-A's. Another good place too is also Panera Bread. Um, you can get their so-called like unlimited months or un not unlimited months, uh, unlimited drinks for a whole month. So you can go in there and get all the drinks you want if you're part of that membership and you can just sit there drink coffee drink tea whatever you want soda and you can sit there and do all your video editing so that's another good option for if you're on the road so let's get to showing you guys my setup in the forerunner i do utilize the forerunner while i'm doing video editing as well see down there that's my Westinghouse 1000 battery system it's not a very good battery system. I would not recommend it. Um, that's the one I hook up my laptop to or this little Apple computer to, to do all my video editing. Back there is my Jackery 500 that I currently have internet hooked up to. Right here is my router that I got from Verizon for, it's called Verizon My Home Internet. And it uses the 5G towers. They say it's geo-locked where you can only use it at the home address you register to. But that's not the case I figured out. We 100% have been using this on the road for high speed internet and we've had no issues. So anywhere you have service, this will work for internet and it's like working very well. Even though it works very well, I still don't recommend that like if you can choose between that and Starlink. If you can get Starlink in your setup, go with Starlink, 100%. It will work way better, and you can be in way more remote areas for all your, like, all your internet needs, connection needs, you'd be good to go. But I recommend it if you're doing a lot of city dwelling, um, you wanna pay like really cheap prices, that's only, I think 20, 25 bucks a month, and it works, for unli and, and unlimited so it, it works flawlessly especially in town cities etc as long as you have service on your phone through Verizon you're gonna have perfect internet connection with that right now the way I have this set up is I have a tray that sits on my lap it's like a laptop tray and then I have my laptop on there with my mouse kind of a good workstation I'm connected perfectly right now to my Forerunner's Wi-Fi, which is the Verizon. It's called Sexy Beast Forerunner. Yes, that's what it's called. Um, as you can see, this is honestly a really good setup. It works perfect for me, especially when Megan stopped and she's doing a shop and deliver. I can sit here and do really good editing. It's a little bit more challenging while she's driving. Um, it can get kind of hard doing that. So that's how I do my video editing. It was much easier when we lived in a van. I was able to just sit on the bed, just kind of sprawl out and just kind of relax. And I just had a wireless keyboard and mouse and had a nice computer screen. But this way works too. It's all about finding ways that 
works best for you if you're in a vehicle uh, like say a car or um, an SUV um, it's it's all about just finding what works best for you and where you're comfortable and when you're editing and you're vi like your video editing that's when your creativeness will come out and that's where your execution will be you can sit there and film all day but then when you go to edit everything if you're not adding some maybe some good music if you're not adding some really good like shots and different things it can just kind of be kind of jumbled of a mess that I'm that's stuff that I'm still learning how to be better at so I feel like going forward I might not be doing it as much in the forerunner unless we're stopped I think I'm gonna go to libraries and fast food places more to just hang out there and just have fed headphones on and just zone in and focus on this because it can get really hard especially when she's driving around and I got the dogs back here clawing at me whining all those kind of things have any more questions about our build with the forerunner or how we do things how how like on the road like all those kind of whatever questions comment down below and I'll either respond to them by just doing a quick reply or, you know what, I might throw up some shorts for you guys or um, YouTube shorts, not regular shorts. That'd be weird. Or um, I'd make a video about it, you know. I'll talk about it in my videos. And I, I know one question was about our diesel heater setup. I'll definitely be doing a video about that in the future. So look out for that video. But yeah, anything else? Any questions? comment below and I'll do my best to reply to you guys because I have nothing better else to do like um, I, I still have full restrictions my appointment today they said we're gonna keep your restrictions your surgery it's gonna be you know coming up which I found out that's gonna be kind of rough um, I got told that it's probably depending on how much they have to do but I'm gonna be down again for another month once they do that surgery so that's disappointing news but that just means i get to focus more on these videos for you guys so like i said comment below if you have any questions and uh or if you even have any recommendations to make our life easier living in a forerunner maybe i should have waited to clean the forerunner What do you want to do for dinner? You know what we're doing for dinner. We're doing nachos for dinner. Nachos? <laughs> <laughs> How we're going to make nachos tonight is we're going to use the cheese shells that we used in our previous video for tacos. And we're going to break those up and use them as nachos. Chips. Nacho chippies. <laughs> Great value brand that we really like. Guacamole. Cooking tonight's gonna be a little different. We're gonna actually go cook at my mom's place and make her some tacos if she wants the tacos or if she wants the nachos. Um, she watched our last video with the tacos and she said it looked really good, so I want to make her some as well. What? Our stickers? Our stickers are holding up really well, look. They are? It, yeah, they look really good. Ugh. Get the tacos. Spaggy! What are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? We're going to make Greek yogurt nachos. Yes, Greek yogurt. So instead of sour cream, you use plain Greek yogurt and it gives you higher protein for lower calories. It's a weight loss hack.
course, Spiky's got to be in all involved in the cooking, huh? He does. Have you been laying with Grandma all day? You been seeping? Have you been seeping, buddy? Yeah. Where's Doji? That's Do For the best taco shells I've ever had in my life. They are better than Taco Bell's. So I dropped my phone on Megan's, <laughs> but I used four shells for Megan's, three is for mine because I don't have that much calories left for today. Megan's got the meats. This ain't for you, chunky boy. Put your cheese. I use Rotel. Now for the main ingredient, Greek yogurt. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you guys, this tastes like sour cream. I know you guys are going to be like, you're crazy. No, it doesn't. It does. And you can load this stuff on there because it is very low calorie for very lot of protein. I can't speak right now because I'm so excited. It is Greek yogurt nachos. Oh, Megan's got guacamole. Uh, actually, I had guacamole. No. That's my guacamole. No. It's my guacamole. You're mean. Add some guacamole. There we go. So Megan accidentally grabbed the spicy one of the spicy guacamole. But that's okay. Alright, this is going to be a taste test. And let me see. Let me get a nice and good bite. It's my Greek yogurt, as you can see. delicious man i always get it in my beard save it for later your nachos megan good look at that god it looks so good <laughs> made it look so pretty bikey <laughs> he's like i want my food leave me alone daddy <laughs> look at him He's such a cute puppy though. I love him so much. Mm. 